Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. It's a big mountain of toys. I have so many toys. How am I going to get this all fixed up? Let's see here. So, so many awesome toys. I want to open them up all so badly. So, I live in Ontario, Canada. And that is kind of close to Buffalo, New York. It's close to New York State. It's very close. It's actually... You can get there in like an hour and a half or less, maybe. So I should go there all the time because the U.S. has so many better toys than we do in Canada. What's going on here? Hey, Jonathan's in the house. Al Alfred Alfredo is in the house. Joey's in the house. Catalina's is in the house. Nancy B is in the house. In the house. <laughs> Why do I say that? Okay, so I got so many toys. I went to Target, and I went to Walmart, and I went to another Target, and I went to another Walmart, and I went to Big Lots, and I went to Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Where did I go anywhere? So I went to TJ Maxx. A TJ Maxx. Um, let me forget my receipts. Anywhere else? I went to Five Below. And those are all the stores that I went to. And I got so many good things. So many awesome things. Okay. I guess I'm not going to do this in any order. Um, oh, uh, okay. So, so, um, okay. I guess, um, there, are, there there's these two Stacy sets and you can get one in Canada, but it's from, you can get the Stacy one. Does it show it here? Oh, yeah, right here. There she is on the back playing the music. I don't know if we're going to end up getting these. They are Target exclusives, but maybe in Canada, sometimes they gave them the Toys R Us. So they might be a Toys R Us exclusive. You can get the Stacy one. I've seen it on the shelves. I've never seen these ones on the shelves in Canada. So I got them at Target. It's that funny looking little boy and this really cute little girl. I like her hairdo. All right. That was from Target. Did I get anything else from that Target? Yes. I got these My Little Pony. You know what? I'm missing one, though. My Little Pony. I don't know if this is Series 4, and I don't think it says on it. Yeah, I don't think they put the names on it. What I am happy about is that there aren't six anymore, that there are four in the collection, because, you know, this is adding up and taking up space. But I think that Series 3 is Rainbows, and I think that this is Series 4, and you can get Applejack's first appearance. She's a funny color, but I understand why she became so popular, because she's one of the best-looking ponies. So... One of the first and best looking ponies. The sit down ones are funny. I am still missing this blue one, which was not at either Target that I visited. Let's put let's put those aside. Ugh. Okay. Hmm. Anything else from Target? Target. 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 Um. I. I yeah. These were at Walmart and Target. Uh, I haven't collected that many Ben 10 figures. There's a lot of monsters in the wave. When I see them, Playmates makes amazing toys. Spin Master Playmates, depending on, you know, what country you live in. Canada, they're distributed. I don't know. That's, that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's confusing. I don't know what to tell you. This guy looks awesome. He looks like a bad guy, but a good guy. So cool. I had to pick them up. There were some really awesome ones. They reminded me of like vintage masters of the universe and great colors, great, awesome, chunky, hunky toys. But I mean, that guy's not too hunky and chunky, but he's hunky. Had to get him. He's so cool. Anything else from Target? Target, Target, Target. Oh, this, this guy. 
I totally even forgot he was going to be there. Like, Primal Age, an exclusive Batman. Do I have my other Batman? No. But I do have a Primal Age video coming up. I'm just waiting for Superman to come in the mail. He should arrive in the mail this week. It's Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah. So, hopefully sometime this week, even though we scheduled for Monday, next Monday, but he's in... He's in New York State, which was where I got these things at. So I'm that's cool to get that variant. I got them in like blue colors. Okay. I think that's it for Target, but we might, you know, revisit that later. Let's see, we got that at Walmart. Walmart had awesome things. Awesome. Who else is in the house? Let's do a roll call. Let's see if anybody else is watching. Speech Fairies is here. Vanessa's here. Um um, oh, Jason is, it's snowing right now. Oh, that's horrible. It snowed last night here, but now I woke up to, I thought it was raining because everything was melting and just pouring and it's still like pouring off the trees and you see all the stuff falling and my pool for the first time isn't ice. So I guess it's really mild out. It was really mild in Buffalo, but really cold when I got back to Canada, which doesn't really make sense. Anyway, these Toy Story Barbie fashions look awesome. Oh, hey, Sean. Hey, Luna. Hey, Batsy. Hey, Honey Bee Happy Me. Great name. Um, hey, Jessica Reviews. Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan Ontario is wonderful. All right, so there's these two. We got this alien one. Look how cool that is. Really awesome. We got this cowboy one, um, Woody. I guess, is the feature of this one. That's a really cool cactus purse. All right, and then we got this one with, I guess, everybody on it. you got a friend in me. Look at that cute backpack. And then this one, this one's really cute. That, uh, I forget what her name is. I guess she's Little Bo Peep. How would I forget that? So those are super duper awesome. Yeah, toys. Okay, and then, and then I got these ones. I also found at Walmart, and I did not find this one. But luckily, that's the only one that Amazon Canada had available. So now I got the whole set of the new ones. Now they also had the car and the Jeep, which are available also at Toy R Us in Canada. So I didn't get them, but also they come with the same figures, and I might not get them because I don't really need big cars and trucks. You know what? If they go, if I find them on sale one day, I'm definitely probably would pick them up because I love Imagine X toys. Those are going to be fun to review. I'm going to open up all of this stuff right away, which is horrible and crazy. Um, one of oh well, maybe I better show you these. Masters of the Universe, Mega Constructs. This I just want to keep to showcase. I love this. I have been so angry at Masters of the Universe lately just because the company that has the license to make the toys, they're a small company. They can't get me toys at a reasonable price. And shipping is horrible because they only ship from the States because they're an American company. And again, because they're a smaller company. It costs a fortune to get them shipped. Just so angry. I am focusing. What I like about Masters of the Universe in the first place was the shape of the figures. So it's like, you know what? I'm going to totally, I'm totally like off that property. Well, that's not really true because, you know, I have these things. But I'm just going to focus on awesome toys that I can afford. Not ones that are way overpriced that break and are not made of good quality plastics. I mean, some the first wave of those wasn't weren't made of good quality plastics either, but they improved them the next time that they made them, and plus they only cost twelve dollars, opposed to sixty dollars that it cost me to get a figure of the same size. Anyway, Masters of the Universe back in retail. We did not get this set in Canada. I don't know why. Walmart sometimes gets awesome things 
in the States, but we don't get them in Canada. And it said, this is such an awesome showcase piece. I have all of these figures already individually wrapped, but I think I will keep this one in package. And finally, I do have to open up all of those. And I want to keep this box. This is very reminiscent of the art that we saw on Masters of the Universe packaging back in the 80s. So I kind of, but I guess I can kind of keep the box. However, it was raining and I had my bicycle was really piled up when I got off the bus and had to drive back home. So the box got kind of banged up or destroyed or something. Oh, look, it's featured on the back. But I guess I could open this and then reseal it anyway and keep it. Maybe one day I'll find another one. Okay, and speaking of toys that are only available at Walmart in the States, and speaking of Masters of the Universe, this is incredible. In fact, the last series of Masters of the Universe back in the 80s, they went primal, which I'm all about primal. It's it's my thing. Cave. I like to eat primally. I like to play primally. And this is like a dream come true for toys. Well, let me show you this one first because it's not my most favorite. That figure is awesome. Lannard makes incredibly quality toys, only usually available at Walmarts in Canada. Check this out. Check out the art. Like they make the core elite figures too, which these are the core elite figures, but they put them on Dino Rider like Oh, man, that's awesome. Okay, and then this mammoth. Incredible. Like, they put armor on. They're just, like, probably some kind of, you know, just an elephant that they had in their stock. Kind of, like, slice figures. And they put armor on them. And they put guns and... Wow. Now, the sad part about this is I got every single one except they were missing one which I guess I kind of understand because it's so, so incredible. And I looked at pictures of it online, but look at the paint jobs and look, oh man, these are sweet and very affordable. This has a $7 price point on it. This has a $15 price point on it. These are US funds. This is the other one riding a tiger. That's the same character that we got riding on the mammoth and then we got this one this is probably the coolest set look at these crazy dinosaurs look at the write-ups look at the box art so so incredible there's a connection between lanard and gi joe like they're basically gi joe figures in Europe, some kind of like European connection between those. I don't know. Ugh. Fresh doll, I got at Walmart as well. Um, usually you don't see the packs. The deluxe packs are really expensive. I think they're around $25. And but these ones are just 10. This is a great outfit. I don't love the faces on these, but she's probably one of the nicest ones, and I want to see the difference between her. She's got, based on Barbie, she's got really tiny feet, so I don't like that, but this is two black separates in leather, so, I mean, those are definitely going to come in handy. Oh, more, more Walmart. I picked up some Sparkle Girls fashions. You have to do that if you visit Walmart. I don't want to snag anything. That always happens. Oh. Used scissors. So, a, a pretty 80s top. Pretty, I meant very 80s top. So, had to pick up that. And this is really cheaply made, but you know, these are two bucks. So, I just thought I would try out this raincoat to, just to see how it would look, even though it does look like very cheap quality material. This dress looks like very good quality material, very thick. I'm not sure what's going on with the top, but I thought I would pick that up. Wait, is there another one? Did I show them all to you? 
I think there's four. Did I drop one on the ground? Oh, here it is. This one, again, is another really cheaply made one. I usually only buy the ones that look like separates or something, but it will be fun to try out. And it's very 80s and very animal print and very gem in the holograms. So that's why it's fun to get. Okay, and then is this the last thing I got at Walmart? Oh, no. <laughs> There's a few other Barbie things. The missing toddler set. So that is sweet. So happy to find that. They just had this one there. And then I got this Barbie blind box. And it was already opened. I didn't open it. And it is the only one that I wanted. I mean, I guess I could have got... I was getting too frustrated. I was shaking them, trying to feel which one was the clothing. I probably could have found one if I looked inside. Because most kids or I don't know who opens these things so no big surprise at what I got but it is the one that had the top and the purse so I it was opened and I saw what it was I grabbed it I don't like rainbow colors in general so that one it would have been nice to find it but I did not find it and I get so frustrated when I'm looking at blind bags so I'm like I'm, I shake them and I'm like well, yeah, it's different for Imagine X. So I got these are also from Walmart. The last Walmart that I went to, they were I found them in a bin. That was super exciting because I love Imagine X. I still don't have series twelve of the regular series. Um, these ones have the numbers stamped on them right there. See that number right there? That's how that's how I like a blind bag because when I I'm a completist. So when I find a toy that I want, I want to get the whole set. So I was able to find all six very easily just by shimmering that number in the light. And super excited to open those. Love Imagine X blind bags so much. Um, Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Oh, no, here's another Walmart thing. This guy... <laughs> He is a different character than the other two I have. I've been waiting so long for him to come to Canada because they price point them the same in Canada as they do in the States. He is not a cute kid, but he does look like me. We have the same hair, obviously. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to get another boy and we can fix up his hair by putting a hat on him, right? That's what I do. Great pants, though. And that really is it for Walmart. Yes. Okay, so Ollie's. I found these two babies. And I love Little Mommy. We don't get Little Mommy in Canada. I don't know why um, Mattel does not have their baby doll mo Little Mommy available to Canada. But every time I see them in the States, I think it's just really weird. Because we always get everything Mattel makes. For some reason... They don't. Now, it's usually, they're usually baby alive size, like they're big baby dolls. These ones um, are minis, which is kind of perfect for me to collect. They're kind of expensive because they were, what were they? They were $5.99 American. So that's like eight, ten dollars eight, nine dollars Canadian. They're cute and they look vintage and they have bottles and blankets and much easier to collect them than getting a big dolly, baby doll. And then I saw this goat. And you know what? I don't really like minions. I mean, the movies are okay. But that goat is so cute. And it was $3, so I bought it. And I've never seen that before here in Canada. And, wow, we're almost through all this stuff. I'm going to say hello and answer your questions after this so stick around toys thanks for your likes who hasn't liked the video thanks for liking the video i didn't even remind you to like the video oh so i don't have the toilet and i don't have the ones with the mini knees the regular little groceries and the weapons i'm really sad but i've been waiting for these to come to canada and the line has been canceled for grocery gang so I had to buy them from Five Below. However, I'm too late, and 
Um, the stock was really low, even at five below, and I'm missing that toilet. And I will buy these again if I find the deluxe packs or the regular packs. But time is running out, and luckily I did find these two. I forgot that this guy is just a repaint of the trash can guy. But I need to find that toilet. If, you, if you've seen that toilet in your stores, if you're at your five below and you see a toilet, you let me know. Send it to me, please. I need that toilet. What else from five below? That's all I got from five below. Oh, here's some more. Oh, here's some more fashions that I got from Walmart. I, I needed this jean jacket, of course. And then this Yoshi tank top is pretty sweet, too. That probably will fit on Ken. So let's hope <laughs> Ken was revealed. Mini me was revealed. All right. So there we go. Those are sweet looking. I mean, that's a really good quality one. And I love a gray tank top. And Yoshi is one of the best Super Mario. Did I say Pokemon? Super Mario figures. Um, this I got at TJ Maxx. Um, ben Darzal, he's in the house. He sent me the other figures from this wave. I actually found yesterday all of the figures from this wave. Actually, they were missing one, but they had all the three rare ones that I really, really wanted. So, I mean, I was going to buy them again because they're so awesome, but this was the one from the series that I didn't get because I didn't really need her. But at three, oh no, four dollars, I mean, I almost bought the whole collection again because they are my favorite My Little Pony Equestria Girl mini collection. But I didn't buy them again. I was really good because why do I need a double set anyway? Well, because they look so awesome. But I got the one that I was missing from the series. Why not? Uh, and, and Rainbow Dash looks great. Look at that hat, which I believe she can take off. And, and then I'm also worried about World Peacekeepers because Big Lots, these were the only things that I got at Big Lots. TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, by the way, if I didn't say that. These were the only two. And the Big Lots toy section was shrunk down. They usually have a few different varieties of these, but they just had two. And they were just randomly in shelves in two places. And they shrunk the toy section. And they didn't have any of these. So I just bought the two that they had. And luckily... I don't have I don't have this set. I don't have this these fatigues. I didn't have a darker skinned um, guy either. So I'm very happy that that is. I am unhappy that I just bought these goggles from the World Peacekeeper website, and I also just bought this headset. So I didn't have to buy those things. Now I have them double, which I guess is cool. Do you see this? This looks like an RCA adapter, which I think. <laughs> I think that's an RCA, like, female-to-female -female extension adapter, which I think that they might have included that as a toy. That's kind of very, very strange. Anyway, love World Peacekeepers. These are actually good ones that I could have found. I did want to get the um, new Asian head sculpt, which I can't really see on the back of the box here. My lights are so bright. Because it is one of the good ones. But I have a feeling that we're not going to see these anymore. So that's kind of sad. All right. My toys are all gone now. The desk is clear. What is what is the favorite thing? What are you most looking forward to me reviewing that I picked up today? Let's see what you guys are talking about. Um, though, hey, Speech Fairy says, um, are those wrestlers you were talking about? Oh, yeah, these are, the, these are the two wrestling versions, but I guess this guy is the wrestler, like a Mexican wrestler, and this guy is actually a, um, a DJ or a rapper. And he's a spray can. Um, oh, you saw the minis again. He, he, yes, I did. And I mean, they're super rare. I am so grateful that you sent them to me anyway, Ben Dares all because the chances of me finding them 
were not very high. Thanks for coming in and giving this video a like, guys. I love you guys. Um, Jason Dahl is supposed to be in the foreground. Uh, he's always he's always going to be here. You know, you mean he's supposed to be up here? Oh man, his hair looks just like mine too. What a mess. Um, Jason loves peace. Yes, I love world peace. It looks like a slicer, not an adapter. Oh, I don't know what a slicer is. Oh, a silencer. No, because it has two ends to plug the cables into. Um, if you want a bat Barbie-sized toilet, there is a mini gag toilet at Target Bullseye Playground. You know what, Nancy B? I found a really nice um, Barbie toilet that I think is going to work out really well. I have to do my slimy and squishy video. I've got a big collection of slime and squishy toys that I'm going to review all at once, coming very soon, hopefully. I remember I had G.I. Joes that looked like that, and they were always my Barbie's husbands. LOL Ken's husbands as well. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, these are really awesome. I actually, I really do just get them for the fashion packs. Um, the bodies are kind of cool. I do have an extra pair of hands, which is cool with this one. Because most of the time, they come with gloves on. And I really like army fatigues. I And this helmet I don't have, which is cool. I don't think I got one of those helmets yet. And I love the accessories. And, yeah, basically I get those as fashion packs for, for this guy. Uh, hey, Batsy. Thanks for retracting your message, and thanks for giving that like. Hey, who's not liking the video? Hey, Luna's to Toy Box. Um, Barbie clothes I'm excited about. Me too, especially those um, especially those Toy Story ones. Got a lot of Toy Story clothes. I'm also excited about these toddlers. Coming is... Um, oh, 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 um, is that the sniper guy? I don't know if he's a sniper. And you have a sniper rifle? Nobody has a tripod. I think you have to have a tripod to be a sniper. I mean, they could all be. Uh, what? A green beret and airborne in infantrymen. 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 I do know that word. Um, um, either give the J doll a white tank top or, or, oh, I see what you mean. I'm not, I can't, I can't take off my shirt. People get upset. I will. There'll be plenty of pool reviews coming soon though. Cause summer is coming. Thanks for the likes guys. Um, Jonathan Roman, Jonathan says action figures. Oh, that's what he's most excited for. Well, I definitely got a lot of action figures. I'm so, so stoked about these. They look so good. Can you believe how good those look? The paint. Man, they look good. Dino Riders at their best. I was wondering that was him. I was wondering if that was him. Oh, if this guy was me? Or if this guy was a sniper? Um, either give, oh, I already read that. Slime and squishy fidget toys are good to review during World Autism Awareness Day, April 2nd. Oh, thanks for that. Heads up, uh, speech fairies. However, that is, that is, I am, I'm loaded up, um, in, Mar oh, no, April. Oh, April is good. No, May. May is going to be Star Wars month. That is that is what I'm booked for. So many Star Wars toys, so many few days, and I probably want to do as many Star Wars toys before May the Fourth as possible. Life on a Yolo Yo Yo says, "Hola, Vanessa's here." She says, "Thanks for the likes. Thank you, Vanessa, for all your likes." Um, hi, Vanessa. Um, never saw the primal toy thing inspired by dino riders. They must be. I think they're just inspired by soldiers and they're inspired by dinosaurs. They're inspired by Jurassic world, but taking it to a much better 
place. Man, this one. This mammoth. So, so cool. And look at their packaging. It looks very much like their core elite packaging. I can't believe I'm missing one. I cannot believe I'm missing one. They had a good selection, too. So I don't know how that happened. They had lots of the other ones. I think I might have gotten the last saber-toothed tiger. And then that crazy, scary monster. I saw it online, and it is really big and chunky, which would make sense why it sold out, I guess. It's upsetting. It's a little upsetting, I have to say. Explanation on the Jason doll. What about the explanation? It, it's a Superman body, an Owen head, a WWE hat, Barbie's glasses, and these are my favorite shorts from Ken Fashion Packs. Is that, is that enough explanation for you? <clears throat> um, is it March 31st there in Canada? Yes, it, it is still. It's not April yet. I guess I'm going to have to do my squishy toys. I can do my squishy toys tomorrow. Love, love, love the mini you. Um, thanks, Life on a Yo-Yo. Whoa, the mammoth looks cool. I vote for that one. Yeah, I vote for that one too. I'm probably going to open up these all at the same time though. So you can vote for those all. Man, that's awesome. So excited about those. Kind of want to keep them in package. My core elite figures, I kept them all in package because... I like the package so much, but I'm going to have to open up those two, especially now that I'm so super into the, what's the name of the Fortnite figures? Because these are basically Fortnite figures, but at a fraction of the cost. This cost half of the price of one Fortnite figure in Canada. Like, what is up with that? You can get all of this with your Fortnite figure and this crazy awesome mammoth with armor and what did I forget what and then a saddle for half the price oops so sorry for you Jason that you missed out on the toy oh well you don't have to feel sorry for me missing out on any toys <laughs> I got a lot of toys. Too many. And the, just the day before, I had this massive epic haul, too. So, yeah. No, don't don't feel sorry about me missing any toys. Um, I like the latest haul. Imagine next a cool Aquaman 2-pack and Avengers Endgame figures. Imagine X Aquaman 2 pack and oh the adventure I saw those I saw those in the states and they looked pretty sweet There were lots of toys that I didn't get Where's my phone? I thought I had that here to show you. I guess I'm not going to show you Yeah, I thought I had my phone standing by and I was gonna flip through the pictures Did I lose my phone? Well, I lost my phone Um, I was asking about the day because it's April 1st here in Asia. Oh, April 1st. That's when people are really silly and do practical jokes. This is not a practical joke. This, These are all of my toys. Thanks for coming in and giving the video a like, guys. Love you guys. Sorry that you missed the big toy haul. I can flash the stuff back again. Actually, maybe I will. I'm going to just put it back on the desk, you can see, so I can have it ready to sort. These are my World Peacekeepers that I got at Big Lots. Then I got these awesome Primal Clash figures that look so great. That one. And then I got this one. Look at that stuff. Look what it's carrying. So cool. So masters of the universe. Then I got this one. Missing this set. So sad. 
maybe it'll show up at at, at Treasure Hunt because Treasure Hunt does get um, toys from Walmart in the states. So sometimes you can get stuff like that. This is the first one I saw and blew my mind. Look at that Dino Bird Rider. Sabertooth Tiger. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Masters of the Universe. That has to go on display in the back. So awesome to see Masters of the Universe back in the stores at an affordable price, too. Can't wait to open up my Primal Age stuff. That's right. I got this Batman. I'm going to open him with the rest of the Season 2. So all of these figures... And speaking of dino riding, so much like this series, too. The Primal Fox. That's being opened. Man, I got, I got such sweet toys. I love the toys. Hey, Angel, thanks for coming in. Hey, Val T, thanks for coming in. Then these guys... I guess I'm not going to open those. I'm going to put those up with my other grocery gang stuff that I haven't opened. Look at this. I guess uh, I guess there's a certain um, theme to the toys that I like. Again, a dino rider. All of these primitive riding toys. So they'll go up there. Maybe I'll open them. That's That's the other upsetting thing. So, missing my toilet. I'm also missing the deluxe figures. I really want to get the deluxe ones. And then... Here's one. That's one of the... Th I was missing just her. So, I've got that. Um, this I want to open up really away. This was my missing set of toddlers. So, happy to pick that up. This was my missing boy, so that was that was a happy find. This was the last and newest DC Superhero Imagine X figure set, so that was a happy find. And... This was... A fresh doll, which I never had before. And needed to do. I only need one of those. And I always wanted a little mommy, so I got one of those. And then some fun, fun things to dress up in. Toy Story. Awesome Toy Story fashions. I'll have to do this video right away because those are right off top, right off, right brand new, just off the, I don't know, the boat and out of the truck. And then I definitely have to do a Sparkle Girls dress up video one day. I know that little girls love Sparkle Girls. Very inexpensive. And big girls and big boys. And then I got something that I didn't even know that I wanted. But you have to admit that's one of the cutest goats you ever did see. And, and then this awesome Ben 10 figure. And I love that guy's style. I would totally wear that outfit. I don't know who Kevin Eleven is. But I like his name. And he might be a bad guy. He's a year older, an inch taller, and his watch goes to 11. Equipped with his own knockoff Omnitrix, a.k.a. the Atrectrix, the Antitrix, he's going to use every alien on his dial to outdo his younger rival. I guess that's Ben 10. Luckily, Ben, Kevin, 
Luckily for Ben, Kevin has a lot less experience with the watch and a few weaknesses of his own, but that won't stop this wild child from taking his tough guy career to the next level. This is good. He is an awesome, awesome figure. He's a bad guy. He's a bad boy. He kind of looks like me with my new haircut. I should have wore a black shirt today. And then these awesome Toy Story Imagine X figures, which I happen to open up right away. Would it be a funny video if I opened up these and in the same video that I opened up the fashions? I probably should do those videos separately, though, because that would be, you know, we don't want four-hour videos. You know how long it takes me to make really long videos. All right, that's everything I got. What should I open today? Somebody tell me. Oh, and then these My Little Ponies, which I'm missing one. That seems to be a big theme. I'm missing one of these. I'm missing one of these. I'm missing... Missing, I'm missing one of these. It's coming in the mail though. I guess that's it. Oh, I'm missing one of these, but she's available at Toys R Us in Canada, so I can get her. We have four fresh dolls in my collection. I only posted the fresh dolls on my Instagram at the moment, but I will post pictures of other fresh dolls. Fresh dolls are, they're okay. I don't think their faces are that great. They need to up their game on face painting. Um, ben 10 dares all. Ben 10 dares all. That's hilarious. Ben 10 is a Benjamin. I'm a Benedict. You're both Arnold's. Um, please do them separately. Yes, I will do them separately. Imagine next. I know, Batsy, you don't want to see those Barbie fashions. Um, Barbie. And Nancy wants to see the Barbie fashions. Um, Jason, you should do a giveaway on Easter. But these are my toys. Stop trying to take my toys. These are mine. Tear, tear the shelves off a black shirt. Tear the sleeves off a black shirt. I have plenty sleeveless black shirts. I don't need to do no ripping. Um, then MLP. Okay, and then Batsy wants to see My Little Ponies. I'm not going to open these though, so you can you can forget that. I have an extra Applejack that I will be opening though. Um, do something silly tomorrow. Be your wacky self. Oh yeah, I'm just. I'll just be myself tomorrow. What could I, What could I open that would be wrong? I mean, I was gonna say I could do like a mukbang that would be different, but I do those anyway. So there's nothing really I could do out of character. I could talk badly about people. My vote is Primal Clash, then Imagine Next. Those are great choices, Ben. Um, Jennifer says, why am I always late? Oh, Jennifer, you missed everything. It's a sad story. You'll have to go back and watch the video and give it a like. Thanks for giving the video a like, guys. He says, thanks for giving the video a like. Um, slow notifications. I hate the slow notifications. I'm going there and taking your toys from you. No. Mine. Mine. Oh, no. Have to go. Sorry. Thanks, Jennifer, for, for stopping in for this brief moment. You can always come back and watch the video later. You're going to love the toys that I got. I know I do. Do a crazy April Fool's vlog. I don't know what my April Fool's vlog could be. <laughs> do a video while wearing a formal suit. And speaking in a fake accent. You know what? You know what I should do? <laughs> in a formal suit. I should I should review my favorite toys. I should review some pop toys. Some Funko Pops. 
Bye, Val. Thanks for coming in. Oh, oh wait, no. <laughs> Val is saying goodbye to Jennifer. But Val, thank you so much for coming in. And thanks for giving the video a like, guys. You guys are awesome. I love your likes. That's not... <laughs> Booby, where have you been? You missed the whole haul that I did twice. Mm, that's not a good idea, Jason. Talk badly about anybody, even if tomorrow is April Fool's. I know, but I never, I never spill any tea or say anything mean about anyone, so... I thought that would be a good day to do that. Even though I did just not say something nice about the Fresh Dolls, because I don't really like their faces. And I usually only say nice things about toys, but the faces don't look good, so. Yes, start collecting Funko Pops, please. Um, <laughs> that would be a joke. I don't like Funko Pops. However, there is going to be a video tomorrow. I'll link it below that... I'm going to be talking about Funko Pops. Um, did not expect you to go live so early. So early, it's it's not that. It's Sunday. I can go live lots. I'm going to do another toy opening today. Don't start collecting Funko Pops. Too many. Yeah, yeah. I don't like them, really. Do a Funko Pop rant. Oh, I could do a Funko Pop rant. Except I don't have any Funko Pops anymore. What should I open today? What am I going to open today? What do I want to open more than anything in my live video? Hmm. 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 I think these, I think this is the best thing for me to open. Have Luke do a quick vlog for April Fools. That could, that could work. But I don't, why would that be, why would that be foolish? I should be, Luke should be doing vlogs on the channel all the time. That kind of is my goal. I have a lot of my life as accessories for Luke to have his own like channel or have his own segment on my channel. And he is supposed to start his own channel. I think this is the winner, guys. I think that this is what I'm going to review today. But I could review a few things. So maybe I'm going to review these. And then later tonight I'll do Primal Clash. How does that sound to you guys? Do you want to see my Primal Clash review? And then do you want to see my Toy Story 4 Barbie Fashions review? Would you guys up for that stuff? Give the video a like if you want to see either of those reviews today on Two Hunky Toys. Cheap and Nerdy Channel has a funny video called Don't Collect Funko Pops. It's very funny. Oh, I have to check that out for sure. Bye, Jonathan. Thanks for coming in. Bye, Jonathan. Thanks for coming in. Bye. Everyone's saying bye to Jonathan. You guys are so nice. Um, Hi, what did I miss? You missed everything, Mike, but I got a lot of awesome toys. I think later I'm going to be opening up Primal Clash, and I'm going to be opening up these Barbie Toy Story Fashions next. I think that's what's going to happen, guys. Do you like this? I think that's what you guys are saying. Yes, I want to see those Primal Clash. Yes, Luna likes those choices. I want to see those. Yes, says Val T. Jennifer, I thought was leaving, says, I just got the Superman DC Primal Age, Jason. Uh, mine is coming in the mail. I don't know when it's going to arrive. It is in, I think it's in New York State, where I was yesterday. But I'm so happy to add this guy. I totally forgot about him. And I'm glad that I can review him with Wave 2. And I will probably do that. Well, I'm going to do that as soon as Superman shows up. Um, sure, Primal Clash Toy Story 4 merch may or may not have spoilers for the movie, though. I already showed these fashions up close. There's no spoilers. Don't you worry. Um, go to sleep, Ben. The rest you alarm to come back later. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's your bedtime, Benedict. Go do bed. Oh, I'm leaving now. Bye. Okay, bye, Jennifer. Thanks for coming in. Um, Toy Story 4, yes, that's what Life on a Yo Yo wants to see. Vanessa's giving us more likes, and you guys gave lots of likes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of toy reviews. That means we're going to be doing lots of toy reviews today. I should stop screaming so I don't lose my voice. 
I also have to fit in some dinner, and I've got a lot of house cleaning to do, but maybe I'll just do, have to do that stuff tomorrow. Um, I live in New York State. It's a great place. You guys have great toys there. So much better than the toys north of the border. Do you have the mix and match animals from Samco? Those are silly for April 1st. Oh, yeah, I like those. I never did buy those, though, and now the supply is low. I kept looking at the box and realizing that I couldn't have the whole collection, so I didn't get those, but those would be a silly review. That's a good idea, though. I could think of the most silly toy that I have to review for tomorrow. Hmm. I have to I have to think about what my most silliest toy is. Maybe maybe I'll do these though. I mean, I do have silly faces. I really do want to review these packs. They're crafty. There's a silly face. But I mean, that's not totally. I'm not really good at themes like that. But I'm super into reviewing these Wendy's Happy Meal or Wendy's Meal Packs. So that's those might have to. Hey, Dom, thanks for coming in. Thanks for giving those likes. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, more toy reviews. Where did you pick up Primal... Um, rage sets. The Primal Rage are only available exclusive to Walmart. And they're awesome and epic. Look at how cool those are. Dino riding awesomeness. I'm missing one. So sad. So, so sad. Maybe they're going to make single figure packs. No, they wouldn't do that because they're the same figures. What is your most silly toy grocery gang? Yeah, grocery gang's pretty silly, but it's too cool to be silly. Too cool to be super silly. You know, it would be it would be a good day to do my first doll review, but too late. I already have done too many doll reviews. I love Toy Story. We don't have them yet. Um, you might have just gotten them yesterday because that's when I started seeing pictures online was yesterday. And that is when, was it the 22nd yesterday? No. Um, and that is when I found them. So maybe yesterday they showed up at your store. Hi, Jason. It's Cosmos the doll. Thanks for stopping in, Cosmos. I'm going to be putting these. Wait, none of these are going to fit on Ken. No, that shirt might. Um, Hi, Jason. Doll is my, is most silly toy. Oh, the Jason doll is his most silly toy. Yeah, that guy. That is my most silly toy. Have tea ready for your voice if you drink tea. Oh, I don't drink tea. I drink water. Did you get any new grocery gang? Uh, yes, I did. Well, kind of. Where did I put those? I'm missing the toilet. And they're not, they're the ones from Five Below. They're not the ones with the mini-me's and the weapons, which were only available at Target. That's right. I never mentioned that. So I'm really, really, really upset that I don't have the last three, but I bought these at Five Below because it's better to have these figures than not get them at all. And unfortunately, I'm still missing Spewy Lou. And I think I saw him once. I think I saw him at a Five Below, and I didn't buy him because I said, you know what? Those are going to show up in Canada at Toys R Us eventually, and then I'll buy them then. But guess what happened? Grocery Gang has been cancelled. I mean, that doesn't mean that they won't show up. It's possible that the stock will eventually show up and be at Toys R Us, but they've cleared out the sections at Walmart and mostly at Toys R Us. So I'm really, I'm really sad. The new trash can is epic awesome. He's a wrestler. All right. Thank you for your likes, guys. I am going to be back 
And I'm going to, like I said, if you want to see these Barbie Toy Story fashions, they're coming up next. And then Primal Clash will be later tonight. I'm going to open up all of those. So come join me for one. Come join me for both. Thank you so much for stopping in today and seeing my epic toy haul. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time.